Welcome to the Dayton Business Spotlight, your source for what's now, what's new, and what's next in the Dayton business community. And now, here's your host, Bill Herzing. Welcome back to another edition of the Dayton Business Spotlight. We love to bring to you the stories of businesses that are maybe more traditional businesses, but are finding a new way to do an old thing. And I am joined today by Dominic Bartone of Hawks, Hawks Pharmacy and Medical Supply. Thanks for joining us. Tell us about Hawks and how you are doing things differently than you used to. Well, it, this is an old business. It started in 1948 by the previous owner, Mr. Hawk. My wife and I are both pharmacists. We bought the store in 1985, mm -hmm. expanded into the medical supply business about uh, 1999, and we started an internet business about the same time in 1997. So we tried to, to try to be innovative and try to grow the business uh, from where it was previously, and we think we've done a pretty good job doing that. Uh, we, we've grown the internet business that we service now about uh, 350 orders a day. We're shipping to 50 states throughout the country, plus the Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Uh, our Hawks Medical Supply and Pharmacy locally here, we deliver to a uh, five county area, five days a week. So we have a pretty, pretty big uh, customer base that we draw from. And once people find out about us, word of mouth really helps us grow our business tremendously. Mm -hmm. So you've taken the internet and you've brought your business to a whole other dimension we just have. using this one tool. Yep. Yeah, we start, like I said, we started in 1997. We really thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be something really big. And I didn't give up on it and I just kept promoting it. And it has grown tremendously and it has actually, it accounts for about one third of our sales now. Oh, that's terrific. Now, Tom, we're very excited about your success. Back in 99, what made you think that people would want to buy medical supplies on the internet? Well, we felt that the aging population was going to make medical supplies more in need than they had in the past. Mm -hmm. as, as people, as children tried to keep their parents at home with them longer instead of putting them into a nursing home or an assisted living facility, which is much more expensive. Yes. And we also serviced areas that didn't have access to a lot of this medical equipment via the internet. Mm -hmm. So we were able to ship things to them and have it directly delivered to their homes. Mm -hmm. Along the same lines, at the same time, we were developing our, our medical supply business here locally because we felt that, again, for the same reason, people would want to keep their parents at home with them longer. Mm -hmm. And we've expanded our business to, to again, service five-county area. Uh, we have a huge showroom here in, in Vandalia. Uh, probably, actually, it is the biggest showroom in the Dayton area at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And with a lot of merchandise on the floor that people can come and see in person and, and put their hands in touch it and feel it yeah well now that's excellent you are not only dominant in the local market here in Dayton but you have become a pretty dominant force in the medical supply market online what uh, what sort of feedback do you get from your customers we get great feedback from our customers you know we provide we try to provide our online customers the same kind of service that we've learned to provide to our local customers mm -hmm. and that's what makes us grow our business yeah. you know word of mouth to our customers locally translates into word of mouth from our customers on the internet. You know, if you look at our ratings on our website, you'll see that we're constantly a four and 4.7 out of five, you know, for service, for delivery, for quality of customer service when people call in. And, and again, being we have a huge internet presence, presence out there, we have the ability to, to reach a lot of people and, and are very satisfied customers. Yeah. Well, now, Dom, you have mentioned to me that you think that Dayton is, quite frankly, a very business-friendly and an extraordinary place to do business. Uh, what is it about Dayton that makes it such a pleasure to be in business here? Well, I think the people in Dayton, first of all, have a good work ethic. You know, I think we have good access to interstates, uh, good access to the airport, mm -hmm. good access to downtown Dayton, and good access to people in general. Yeah. Uh, the cost of living is typically a little bit lower here than it is in some of the other major metropolitan cities. Yeah. You know, so it really helps, uh, it helps us keep our costs down, which in turn we pass on to the consumer who en ends up generating the, uh, the, re the benefit of that, of that result. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we celebrate your success and so many other excellent businesses in the Dayton area, and it's just great to be able to tell your story today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being
Well, I want to thank you for joining us for this edition of the Dayton Business Spotlight. Uh, Dayton is in many ways like a well-kept secret, except the secret is getting out. We have very innovative and creative businesses that are really doing a very good job of dominating their markets. Hawks Pharmacy, one example. If you want other examples, check out our other videos right here on this page. Thanks for joining us.